In this lecture, we are going to prepare ourselves for applying scamper. So I would say that this is more of an icebreaker and it is time for self-reflection. Because for you to be creative, you should have the right mindset and we are going to prepare ourselves to have that mindset. So this activity is going to take few minutes and so I'm going to request you to plan accordingly. So here's what I want you to do. Think of a situation where you felt that you lacked creativity. Now I want you to unwind a little bit and think about few aspects relating to this situation. And remember there are no right or wrong answers. Don't rush through. Please take your time and then write down your answers. You could pause the video, write the answers and then move to the next question. Here's what I want you to think about. What was the problem on hand in that particular situation? Did you understand the problem well or do you believe that you understood the problem well? Can you describe the problem in a sentence or two? Where and in which business or product this problem was observed? When was this problem observed and since when was it observed? How widespread is the problem and how severe was the impact? What makes you suggest that this was actually a problem? So this is really reflective. Go back now after having answered all these questions to validate if it really was a problem or was it just a pseudo problem? What do you think was the root cause for the problem? Because without knowing the root, root cause to the problem, it is almost impossible for you to fix the problem because you would only be attacking the symptoms. And to sum up, are you confident that by eliminating the root cause with a solution, the problem will be permanently eliminated? And are there any more unknown or unidentified causes for the problem? The reason I want you to do this kind of a thinking process is because if your solution is not effective, that's not largely because you were not creative. Many times it's because we did not understand the problem well. We did not put our creativity to use at the right place. So once you have explored all these aspects of that particular situation, we are ready to apply scamper. It's not always mandatory that when you apply scamper, you need to ask all these questions. You could apply it for any situation. But if you're going to apply it in a structured area or for a big problem, you're going to get your team together and ask your team to apply SCAMPA, then I would suggest that all these aspects be examined before we jump into the solution mode. So with that note, I'm going to wrap up this lecture. I hope you had a chance to honestly answer these questions. If not, I'm going to include the questions which you saw here as a resource you could download that and you could fill your answers in that there are no right or wrong answers it's only reflective in nature if you believe that you never attack the root cause now you know why you were not creative if you indeed think that you attack the root cause but still you were not creative then i'm sure scamper will help you so with that note thank you